G'day guys and welcome to another video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get these little red badge notification icons across any Android device um, for when you have a missed notification. Now, normally this is associated with iOS devices, you know, your iPhones and your iPads. Even though some Android devices do offer it natively, they usually only offer it for their you know, native apps such as Messages or Dialer or their stock email app. So as soon as you start getting custom apps like Textra or a different Dialer or Gmail or something, those badge notifications aren't gonna show up. So the way that I'm gonna show you here is gonna hopefully cover most, if not all apps that you get, all custom apps, anything. Pretty much, if this shows up in the notification panel, then it should work for that particular app. Now, let me just flag with you early. This is probably gonna set you back about six bucks if you're here in Australia. If you're overseas, it should be somewhere around that ballpark figure. Um, and let's just put that in perspective. Um, six bucks, it's a couple of cups of coffee at most. So, you know, it's really not that much an investment for something that you're probably gonna use every day. I know for me, I rely heavily on these little badge notifications. Um, otherwise, I miss notifications. So, let's get into it. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the Play Store and we're gonna get an app called Nova Launcher. Now, I've talked about this in a few videos in the past. Nova Launcher is the launcher that I use and I just love it because it's so customizable, it's super flexible and it's just got a lot of great features. And apart from all that, it's actually just really reliable. Um, most launchers that I've used in the past have proved a little bit buggy with certain things, um, whereas Nova Launcher I've never had an issue with. And you know, like I said, it offers so much customization that it's just an awesome launcher to use. So it's the one that I'm probably gonna use all the time on my phones in the future. So I really recommend it as, as an app to get for your main launcher. Now, it initially comes as a free version. So what you get with the free version is most of the app's functionality. Um, the only thing that you don't get is gestures and inputs. You don't get unread count badges. And I'm pretty sure a couple of the backup and import settings aren't there as well. Now, obviously, unread count badges is what we're looking to use, so we're gonna have to go and get the paid version. So, let's jump back into the Play Store, and we'll just jump back one, and there's Nova Launcher Prime. Now, if you've already got the free edition of Nova Launcher, and you've, you know, you've done a whole bunch of setting up of your phone, and you're really happy with it, never fear, Nova Launcher Prime is just an addition to the existing app. So it's not gonna replace you, you're not gonna to have to do all yourself again, it's just a little key that unlocks those features. So just go ahead and buy that. As I said, it should be around $6 depending on where you are and once you've bought it, you'll notice that these features that were previously grayed out are now available for you to use. I really do recommend you looking into your gestures and inputs. I, I love the gestures, like for example, when I swipe down anywhere on my home screen, it brings open my notification panel. So anyway, what we're gonna be using is unread count badges. So you jump in there, it shows you a couple of design elements that you can change. So you can have it material white, you can have it this holo, classic, custom. So I've got custom set up. So what I've done is I've made the border and the badge the same red shade. Otherwise there would be a white border around it or another color border. And that's fine if that's what you want. And I've made the text white. So it's really up to you what you want it to look like. And you can change your sizes. You can make them large, medium, or small. They're only small adjustments um, with those different sizes. And you can make them more round by changing your corner radius or, or make it a sharp square, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, and then down here, you'll notice it's got provider. Now, if you click that, there's a couple of options. Tesla Unread, which is what I'm using, and missed it. Now, the reason I suggest using Tesla Unread is because it's actually made by the same guys who do Nova Launcher. So you can just imagine that it's a lot better integrated, it's gonna be a bit, bit better operational because it's actually made by the same guys. They know the coding and whatnot. So that's why I recommend Tesla Unread. So let's come to the Play Store, look up Tesla Unread, and there it is. Obviously, I've already got it installed as well. Um, but yeah, basically just install that, open him up, Okay, so this is what we get. So under messaging for some reason, um, obviously it's got SMS, but it's also got missed calls and you can just switch these on. I don't use Hangouts and WhatsApp. So you can just switch these on. You've also got Gmail. You can also, it's cool, under Gmail, you can select custom accounts and different you know, inbox or, or sent messages. Obviously you don't really wanna see your unread sent messages, but you can select your unique folders within your Gmail app. If you're using the stock email app, you just switch that on and obviously Facebook is there under MISC. Now, you can leave it that way if you want and this is obviously, if that's all you want, this is gonna run flawlessly. There's no, no issues with that. Um, the only reason why I'm not a big fan of using these ones is because when you get rid of a notification in 
like in the notification panel, like for example, messages, if it's still unread in the app, it's still gonna have a notification badge. Whereas I want it to be able to dismiss the notification a badge when I've dismissed the notification from the notification panel. Lots of notification being used in that sentence, I apologize. So the way that we fix that is, and I'm gonna turn all these off, this little option down here, notification bar watcher. So if we click that, it's gonna bring us over to the notification access page in our settings, and you just wanna enable it, just make sure Tesla Unread is turned on, jump back, and then you have to make sure that you select the apps that you want it to have an effect on. So for example, I've got messages, messenger, I've got Wunderlist, which is my reminders, jump down. So I've got ComBank, that's my banking app. I've got Drive, Dropbox, eBay, and so on. And Facebook, everything else is under there. And basically what this does, and it explains it there, is anything that comes into your notification panel will be read by the app, and it will therefore put a badge on. Now, this is a touch buggy, so make sure you don't use it with things like Google Maps or anything, because when you do, you'll notice if you're using Google Maps, um, you'll come back to your home screen and it'll have like 99 or something, some weird number there. I don't really know why it does that, but that's the only real bug I've come across using this technique. Um, other than that, it's borderline flawless. So now if I dismiss this message, there you go, it's now been dismissed uh, from the app there. So um, yeah, it's, it's really great the way it does that. Again, if I dismiss it here, go back, there it is, dismissed from the Wunderlist app there. So guys, that's it for this video. It's heaps easier to do and super, super useful. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, I'd love you to hit subscribe and like, really appreciate it when you do that. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.